Aida for eating tuna salad at work, I have recently started a higher protein and imp sensitive diet, so I have had to make a lot of changes with my lifestyle. I've turned to fish as a main source of food, and can tuna is one thing I enjoy a lot. I have started taking tuna salad to work with me every so often. When I take it to work I prepare it beforehand, so I'm not opening the can at work or anything, just eating it out of Tupperware. One of the newer employees at my work confronted me recently for bringing the tuna salad to work because she can smell it when she enters my office apparently. To be clear the smell doesn't waft into the public spaces, but when she's dropping off papers or telling me something she can smell it. I explained to her my diet changed and apologized for the smell but told her I wouldn't be changing my diet again right now as my stomach has a hard time adjusting to new food routines and this one has finally started working. She got pretty upset and told me that it was common office sense not to bring fish. I thought that that rule was always about microwaving seafood, not just bringing tuna salad which I feel like is a pretty common lunch food. I feel bad that she doesn't like the smell but I really just need to keep with my routine. Aita, Aita for saying actually it's my house double quotes dot dot so backstory, my grandmother passed two years ago, a month before she did we meet up for lunch and she told me 30 to f that she was giving me my mom's inheritance and enough money to cover any taxes on it. I was a bit confused and she explained that she heard my sister talking about putting her in a nursing home and she wanted me to take care of my mom by buying her a house and providing for her. My mom is 59 and has some metal heath problems that have gotten worse with age, but well, manage with meds. I still pay the taxes and have the house in my name. The issue at hand, I just moved in with my mom after getting a divorce. I took over all the bills and pay for all the groceries. I set my mom down and told her I take one night a week off, where I, by all means fall off the face of the universe to unwind and get ready for my weekend. I work to jobs. I let her know at Thursday that I like to take off. I leave work around 5.30 p.m. and I'll be home at 6.30 m to get the kids ready. She agreed to this. I also let her know my ex had agreed as well to keep up my night off. So if something happened to reach Oa to him first, this excludes if someone gets sick hurt or has to go to the hospital. Well, Thursday is coming up and my mom started asking what my plans are. I told her I don't know. Yet. She kept pushing so I asked if I needed to not go out, she said no, but she wanted to know place, time, and people I would be with. My mind blanked and I said I'm not 13 years old mom, I don't have to tell you any of that just let you know I'm safe. She came at me with it's my house my rules, I didn't mean to say hatefully, but it came out wrong actually it's my house if you want to get technical. She got mad at me and truly started to treat me like a child yelling and telling me I'm ungrateful for her helping me out. I told her on that day I enjoy my privacy, that, even once my ex and I were together he didn't know where I was and only know I was safe. She said I'm an asshat and that's why me and him are not together. That I was disrespectful to their feeling about my safety. Edit my mom as bipolar, she is perfectly capable to watch the kids for a night. My sisters have been waiting to put her in a nursing home for as long as I can remember because she is not a great housekeeper or good with money and it would be easier on their lives. My mom also know all my partners by name and have their phone numbers. She is the one who told me I was Polly, so those accusing me of sneaking off please don't. Last thing I'm dyslexic and am very coherent. I do apologize. I do my best writing this post and did not ever expect my writing style to come up in them. Grandma won't shut up about my appearance. Hello and good day or night to you all. I hope your guys days have been going awesome. Let's get to the point. My grandma will not shut the fuck up about my appearance. It's honestly getting on my nerves. For context this has been going on since November of 2022. She won't stop telling me she wants my hair shorter because I finally heavy hair down to my neck. I'm a male by the way she hates it when I have any kind of dye in my hair. I dyed it black and she told me it was way too black. Then, one time I went on over to her house to help with some work and I was trying to pull my hair back to keep it out of my face. She saw I was struggling and said she'd help. I followed her inside and told her to please not use any product that would make my hair sticky or hard and not a lot of product either. But she doesn't listen to me at all and does it anyway. I didn't complain as it had already started and I never saw it coming anyway. And this is only my hair. My clothes are another thing. I got a new jacket for my birthday and I loved it. I had pictures of a coffin and below it it said future corpse. I thought it was amazing and the jacket was soft, perfect for lounging around the house. But my grandma had other things to say about it. She told me it was tacky and made me look like I was a Satan worshipper. 
Something to note here is, I believe in the Norse religion, Vikings and such, so me being a devil worshipper in her eyes isn't totally inaccurate as Christians see the Norse as satanic as one of the symbols is a pentagram looking thing. My grandma even hates it when I tell her I went to a hot topic to grab myself a bigger jacket. Again she calls me an unfaithful grandson and tried to force me to join her church. Hell she once tried to baptize me while I was staying the night. I quickly hopped in my car and left after that. She wants me to go to counseling to try and straighten me out as she puts it. But I am not going. I won't be forced to believe in something I don't really think is true. And I won't be forced into a program to help people when I don't need it. Now what she did recently was just fucked up. She wanted me to go over to her mom's house with the rest of the family on Mother's Day. Here is word for word what she sent me. Is there any way you can make it over to her house for Mother's Day? And don't you dare give me and I don't know. I was in second period and I just wanted to leave the class and call her to tell her to never talk to. Leave the class and call her to tell her to never talk to me like that again. I love my grandma, but she really is starting to make me feel like the only real family I have is my mom and stepdad and his family. I just can't deal with her anymore. M demands that her son gets to ride my horse. I have three horses, two who are really sweet and one who has extreme anxiety and is terrified of people, especially young kids. He was hurt for the first six years of his life. He was a lesson horse for kids who would often be kicked hard with spurs until he was rescued and later I bought him. And that was four years ago when I was 13. I'm now 17 and I have used so long to gain his trust. That's just some backstory that'll be important. Also, my horse get anxiety when he isn't with his siblings or with me, which is also important. I think we had open stable, which is basically an event where families get to come to the farm and meet the animals and try riding the horses, and the owner asked if they could borrow the two sweet horses, which I agree on. Since I couldn't leave my horse with the other horses, I was also asked if I could go. Go on a few trips with some visitors to teach them how to ride. It was a very short trip. One of the trips stood out however, a boy maybe nine years old, was put on the laziest pony ever, and he did not seem happy. He saw my horse he is a Shire BW, so he is huge, 17. Hands a 68 inches 173 cm from the shoulder down, he is bigger than me. The kid lit up and jumped off the pony and walked over to me, with the mother right behind, and this was the conversation. Em, excuse me, my son wants to ride that horse, can you switch? Me, sorry, no, this is my horse. M, no, it's the farm's horse. Me, no, I own him. He is a private. But no, he can't ride my horse. M, why not? He doesn't want the lazy horse. Dot, 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 me, it's my horse. And I'm guessing your son has ridden very little. This horse is not for beginners, and he doesn't like strangers. Then, M grabs the reins. My brother was close by and got the lady to let go. But it was not over. Eck, I want to ride him. M, I know, but that boy won't let you. He doesn't think you are good enough. X started crying and yelling I want to ride it over and over, and I got annoyed. Meet lady, either get your son's butt on the pony, or leave, cause you aren't going to get to ride my horse, it's dangerous and if the kid falls he'll get seriously hurt. Em, no he won't it'll be okay. Brother, lady, the horse is almost my height, I have landed in the hospital because you of that horse, and I got away with a broken arm. That horse does not like kids, your son will get more injured than I did. Op is basically saving your son from a lifetime of pain, or maybe death it's true. My brother tried to ride my horse and was bucked off. M, um, you're just making that up castle you're some stuck up rich brats dot 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 me, all right lady. Leave, I'm not gonna take you on the ride. M, um, I'm telling the owner. Me, go ahead. I have six witnesses that can back me up. After that, M left and I was later asked about it from the owner, and nothing happened to me. The owner took my side. I don't know what it is about having a baby and giving my mother a grandchild that's brought out the worst in her. Had a few gripes on this sub since my mother has been acting up, but she seems to be getting worse rather than better. All started off last August when me and my girlfriend discovered we were having a baby. Mum was excited, but as months went on she was just constantly firing name ideas towards me. Any that I didn't like, she'd argue and question why. Then when we found a name we liked and she didn't, it sparked issues. Our son then came six weeks early in March. My girlfriend and our son were nearly on their deathbeds due to complications. My mother felt so entitled. She felt it was appropriate to start causing arguments with me over telling her she wasn't allowed to the hospital due to restrictions. And she was fuming my meal was there and she couldn't be. She spent weeks trying to cause an argument with my girlfriend. 
kept accusing my girlfriend of snapping at her when she hadn't been, started accusing my mill of being a thief over some baby clothes she bought our baby because it was from an expensive shop, had a massive argument with her a month or two ago where I told her I wanted her to go to the doctors and get some help because I think she's either menopausal, depressed, or even starting with dementia. She's been behaving absolutely deluded. She apologized to me and my girlfriend and even bought her a bunch of flowers. My mother never apologizes, so I really thought she meant it. But over the last few weeks she started again. Went funny with me a week ago because my girlfriend has been offered redundancy in her job and she's accepted it. She hates her job and has wanted this for years. We're in a good place financially at the minute. But we think mom is fuming because she wants my girlfriend to go back to work after maternity leave so she can have our son all of the time. As much as we want him to have a good relationship with his grandma, we don't want this all of the time. She was then fuming last weekend as my girlfriend was carrying him in a carrier and didn't let my mom have a cuddle straight away. And then he was poorly a couple of nights ago and we managed to get him to an out of hours. Doctor's appointment just after midnight. We were exhausted and so took him to the appointment. He got given the all clear. We came home, got a wash and went straight to bed. Mum came to visit yesterday evening where we told her. She then decided to go home, message me, and start an argument that we hadn't told her sooner. I wish she would just leave us to be parents. Stop taking everything personally and taking things out on us. We're exhausted without already feeling like we're walking on eggshells with her.